Welcome to Ultimate Orlando Clicks. I'm your host Kevin and let's get started. This week we are beginning at Epcot where as you can see the camera center has gotten a new color scheme. It's obviously hosted by Nikon now. If you zoom in over in this corner here you can see a little re remnant of the old color scheme with those multicolored bars uh, that was kind of more 70s looking than what they've got now. Now they have, and we've shown you some pieces of this before when it was under construction, um, been doing a repainting job in Future World, and you can see that Interventions, uh, and from the two different sides, has these multicolors now, uh, kind of visible uh, from across the plaza as uh, distinctly blue on one side and distinctly, uh, well, blue with tans on the one side and distinctly green on the other side. Going over to the Polynesian Resort, uh, better get used to uh, a name change coming soon. The name is going back to the original Disney's Polynesian Village. And uh, over at this resort, Club Disney is a, a new name for the Neverland facility. That's the basically the child care facility uh, that is open only in the evenings at the Polynesian. You can see what the signage looks like here. Now, I wasn't able to take photos uh, of the inside beyond the lobby, so I'll show you a couple of photos of what the lobby itself looks like. Uh, that's because there were kids in there, and so obviously they don't want people taking photos of that. A couple of blurry shots in here, unfortunately, but uh, this is the lobby area, the atrium of uh, the Polynesian. So you can see what the signage looks like, the concept art that's uh, what's coming, and here's the uh, waterfall out front that will say Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. That's under construction just out front by the monorail, actually. I'm going to take you around that central atrium feature, and you can see there's lots of walls everywhere, and they've got these cutouts that are set up for people to take photographs next to them. So I'll show you several photos of these cutouts. Again, apologies for some of them being a little bit blurry. You can see the atrium walls go all the way around to the boutique shop, and some more of the cardboard cutouts down that hallway as well. And then from there over toward... Uh, the area that was Captain Cook's, that's over here, and this was the shops, uh, and, and um, so it's the Wyland Gallery, that's now DVC kind of uh, signage. There's the Captain Cook still boarded up, and the stitch cut out for you to take photos of down that hallway. Uh, and then back upstairs in the Polynesian, found this sign saying Hawaiian shaved ice was for sale. This is at that sushi counter. And then the shop beyond it, also under construction, although the uh, DVC area grocery store was open next to it. This fire pit uh, struck me as new. I don't know for sure that it is, but it struck me as new. And certainly I was here to take photos of the uh, increasingly finished looking uh, bungalows for the upcoming DVC project for the Polynesian. And you can see by uh, zooming in that they're doing finishing work, essentially. All the heavy equipment is gone, the bulldozers and that sort of thing. The volcano and the pool here are going under um, reconstruction very soon, possibly by the time you're watching this. And the barefoot pool bar will be shutting down. Actually, that shut down as of this last weekend. In the Magic Kingdom, Tinkerbell moved some months ago away from Adventureland next to Mickey Mouse, but the signage is new in front of the Tinkerbell area. And then also new this past weekend, the Bridge to Tomorrowland has this stitch set of decorations here. So it's showing, again, as a cutout stitch, with some paint, and what Stitch is doing is painting the wanted posters to have him look like villains. So this is Cruella with the dark on one side and the light hair on the other side. This is Captain Hook. Uh, this is Maleficent. And this is Jafar. Now just over the wall from there actually you can see the construction ongoing for the uh, bridge. It's going to be connecting the hub over in this area here toward the uh, Tomorrowland Noodle Station or Tomorrowland Terrace I guess and uh, the former popcorn area here as well. Now there's another uh, couple of new decorations around the outsides of these hub construction walls. This is one of them, Donald banging this drum saying, show your Disney side, and actually Stitch's thing is all about that as well. And then here's Timon and Pumbaa, again with a Disney side decoration, hashtag in fact, saying with bugs, show your Disney side. The uh, Tomorrowland construction project has included both the People Mover and Astro Orbiter. Astro Orbiter vehicles, in fact, the whole superstructure has been removed for cleaning. That'll be coming back at some point. Found this uh, while I was in China. I don't know that I've I've seen many uh, cast members from Shanghai before, but none of them wearing a ribbon like this, so perhaps the ribbon is something brand new. At Peter Pan, walls have gone up for part of the standby uh, queue, but the line is still open, actually, so it's just that they're possibly doing some painting just in that first queue line. 
Switching now to Animal Kingdom, where you can see Expedition Everest is a tiny little dot in the background and the parking lots over here. This is the former grass area, the one a zone um, sort of set aside for parking lot, future parking lot to be paved is now getting paved, it looks like. So they're expanding their parking lot in advance of Avatar. Speaking of Avatar, the cranes are up. They're, um, they were putting in pilings last time I was here, a couple of, uh, or footings, I guess, concrete footings way deep into the earth uh, the last time I was here a couple of weeks ago. There are some walls up around the Tree of Life gardens, and so you can't access most of that now. Um, so it's kind of behind walls, and in fact, uh, the Tree of Life itself, the attraction, Tough to be a Bug, is behind walls as well. So the walls uh, also extend over to the front area here, so you can see a little bit into the back zone here. Uh, they've taken out some trees. I don't know what it is they're planning, but this um, was just a backstage area with foliage before. Now you can see that the uh, walls are up around Tough to be a Bug. I'm actually going to go back a slide uh, because I don't have another slide showing it. The tip board has been removed here. That whole area is now just kind of open. And so it's got construction walls that you have to navigate your way around on Discovery Island for the moment. Over by the restrooms, this is towards Dino Land. Uh, this structure is new on the outside of the restrooms. And uh, if you get closer, you can see that it's uh, involving birds. I think that's that new morning bird show, which I still haven't really seen, called... Uh, Flights of Wonder or something like that that uh, features, it looks like macaws, and it happens only in the morning, and this must be sort of where it's uh, um, situated. So I haven't uh, been there to give you a report on what that's like. Flame Tree Barbecue is open, but they've got construction walls on this side of Flame Tree Barbecue. And these buildings are really just backstage. It's a kitchen, I think, for the Flame Tree. But what I'm mostly taking a picture of is something over the fence and over those uh, buildings. Let's take a closer look at that with a zoomed-in photo. Uh, and you can see that it's got a blue tint to it. And in fact, this is on the other side as well. This is on the bathroom side. And if you look really close at them, you can see what they've got is a bunch of little dots and a high projector. Um, and so this is actually for that projection system, which I did get to see tested at Harambe Nights when they paid for that first night of Harambe Nights uh, to make little blue dots all over the Tree of Life. Uh, projected dots, sort of like the castle projection technology. Uh, this is obviously going to be used for Avatar. And so it's a connection with Avatar and that uh, Tree of Life concept they have in the, from the Avatar movie. And these are where the projectors themselves come from. That's what they look like from the side. So they're over these roof lines. Uh, back over to the Magic Kingdom, the Yankee Trader has closed down, and the Disney Parks blog just announced yesterday that it will be turning into a gift store specifically for the Haunted Mansion. They've always had a little of that on this side of the Yankee Trader, but I uh, thought I would capture some signage now before it goes away, just in case it doesn't come back with the same name. I'd be a little surprised, actually, if it did come back with exactly the same name. So you can see a couple of different angles of the same shop. And then looking inside, it's got this kind of colonial look to it still and uh, this costume. We'll see if all of that comes back uh, when it comes back after the conversion. Heritage House was the former gift shop at the exit to Hall of Presidents. And you can see that it's now just tables, air-conditioned tables. It's really overflow seating for that um, that uh, that restaurant just around the corner, the counter service restaurant just around the corner that sells funnel cakes and so forth. Uh, and no one seems to know about it here. It was in the middle of the day, it was crowded everywhere and there was no one in here. So it was briefly used as a Fast Pass Plus Center and now it's just seating. So uh, come in and grab. It looks like it's uh, the getting is good. All right, it's time for our game. Where in Walt Disney World was this? And last time out, this was your challenge. And I did see one correct answer. It was um, a little board below the Main Street train station. It was a kind of a map of the entire Magic Kingdom, and it would show um, little attraction um, vignettes from around the park um, at the same time that it was showing the train stops. It was mostly a map of the train stops, and this is one snippet of that map. All right, so here's your challenge for next week. It's not there to see anymore. Uh, but where in Walt Disney World was this? Uh, leave your guess in the comment section, and we'll see you next week if you guys are right. So that brings us to the end of yet another week. We thank you guys for stopping by, and we will catch you next time.